Hi folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. Well, this time, this time in the fall, you know, the, yeah, you can see in the St. Lawrence River, a lot of the places the docks have been taken up and a lot of the, the opportunities for fishermen to put their boat in the water and be able to do that easily has been taken away. In with the understanding that, that ice and winter aren't far ahead of us. But the thing, that, <laughs> the thing that I wanted to tell you is this time in the fall, if you are lucky enough to know sort of the habits of walleyes, there are so many places where you can wade in the evening and actually be able to catch walleyes because this time of the year they're going to come back into the shells. At night they're going to feed on schools of minnows. And one of the places that this takes place all the time right now is Oneida Lake. And there's a group of people that look forward to this every year. This time, they can do better after dark going to some of these points and spots and along Nida Lake and wade out there with their hip boots or waders at night and cast out and have phenomenal walleye action. We usually don't think of walleye fishing of offering this kind of opportunity. You know, when we think of fishing for walleyes, a lot of times we think of trolling with either a worm rig or something that is going to go down into the depths, into the current, and walleyes don't like to, they, they don't like the sun and so forth. But this can be a great time. The, the other thing that I want you to be aware of is that there's some really top-notch walleye fishing right now in the Black River in Dexter, down by Watertown. And people go down there right now. This is the time when that Black River becomes famous because there's places you can fish along shore and catch salmon. Now that the salmon run has pretty much come to an end, the browns and the rainbows move in to feed on the eggs and there's all kinds of fishing there. But what else is happening is the walleyes move into the Black River. And they offer great fishing right now this time of the year for people along the shoreline. And if you go back out where the river, and this isn't very far from Dexter, the river empties back out into the lake. Well, right there, there's a big sandbar. And around that sandbar, there can be great fishing right now for both walleyes and trout. So this can be a banner time. And so when we think of the fall, there's so many opportunities right now. They may be different than we had before. One of the things that, that some of the great walleye fishermen in the St. Lawrence River have said to me recently is they've said, we don't know where the walleyes are going. You know, normally they, they've got spots out in our area from Ogdensburg to Messina all along this area of the river. They've got spots where they can go out and catch walleye after walleye after walleye. They've been doing it for decades. But this year they've had a tough time. And both of them, and I, 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 I won't give their names because I didn't ask them if I could give their names, but they're two of our top walleye fishermen. They don't fish together. And they both have come to me and said, we're having a hard time finding them. Are they traveling? And we know that walleyes migrate and they travel great distances at different points of the year. So again, another one of the challenges, another one of the, op I've talked about both in this report the tremendous opportunities right now for walleyes down in the Black River and places like this down in Oneida Lake and the sort of mystery and the challenge of finding at what point in the river are these groups of walleyes traveling right now where you can still go out and have some fantastic fishing. And don't forget uh, Shamo Bay. That is a wonderful fall walleye water. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.